Hey guys, what is up? Back to another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, I think. I think it's April 23rd. I might be completely wrong. But anyway, guys, we got a new sneaker to review for you guys. I did an unboxing video of these this week. Tons of you guys hated them. I absolutely love them. This is probably my favorite sneaker that I've got in 2016 so far. And it's definitely in the top 10 of my collection right now. I am hyped on these shoes. I think they're absolutely amazing. Before we get into the review, if you enjoy the channel and want to see more videos, I'm trying to do videos daily. If you guys would like to see that, make sure to hit that like button down below. And if we can hit like, let's say 850 likes on this video, I will know that you guys are really enjoying them. But the shoe they're reviewing today came in this blue Adidas Originals box right here. The tag says Tubular Doom, EQT Pink, EQT Pink, and EQT Pink. So you might guess what color it is. Let's take a look at them right now. Bang, bang. They are the EQT Pink Tubular Dooms. These things are so nice. I'm, oh my goodness. I'm so freaking happy. I, I can't contain myself. Every time I look at these, every time I hold them, every time I try them on, which has been a lot, because these things are amazing. I've got these for probably all of 48 hours right now, and I've tried them on like 10 times already. I walked around the house in them, because these are amazing. I can't get enough of these sneakers. They are so nice. Tons of you guys might hate them, and I completely understand that it's really out there, and it's not for everyone. I completely understand that but these are just really really nice in my mind so you guys probably want to take a close-up look at these starting off on the outsole and midsole you have this tubular outsole and midsole this is the exact same outsole and midsole that you're going to see on the dooms on the tubular novas on the tubular radials I of course have the white novas as you can see right here and it has the exact same midsole and outsole one cool thing about this though is that uh, there are actually little sparkles in them if you look very carefully and if the light catches it right you definitely won't be able to see it on camera but there are sparkles in the midsole much like you have on the Aqua 8. It's not really like out there. It's not like a princess sparkly. It's just very subtle and you can see them if the light hits it right. And that's a cool touch in my mind. Moving on to the upper, uh, not much color variance. In fact, no color variance except a whole bunch of cool stuff to look at. You have this really, really nice suede. Like this is excellent quality suede on the toe box right here and then you have a neoprene moving up with your big elastic nylon strap it looks a lot like a seat belt and i think it gives it a very y3 type vibe you have more suede on these two side panels right here once again excellent quality with your eyelets pink rope laces another suede piece on the heel cage with some more stretchy sort of elastic nylon cloth woven material i'm not exactly sure what type of fabric it is with your little adidas pull tab right there as you can see it's basically all pink so not much to talk about with the colors but what i am going to talk about is first off the price was 140 dollars which honestly they could have charged 250 for these and i still would have bought them because i think these are great but 140 dollars was a really good price in my mind and then i had a 40 percent off code for adidas so i ended up getting these for 80 dollars and 51 cents american 80 dollars and 51 cents 80 dollars and 51 cents for these. That is a, might be the steal of the year. Absolutely amazing, I'm so pumped. My favorite thing about this particular model, um, there are the Prime Knit ones as you guys know, there are a couple colorways like the Chinese New Year and the Special Forces that have like a fuse on the toe box, which I really do not like, I think that ruins the shoe, but I love the suede on the toe box, on the mud guard right here, and the big nylon seat belt there. When you wear these, because they look amazing on feet, trust me, as you'll see in a couple minutes, when you wear these, they look exactly like a Y3 Casa. Like this is a shoe for $140 or $80.51 in my, in my case, um, uh, that looks like a $400 pair of shoes from Adidas Y3. And as for the sizing, you guys are probably wondering about that as well. Definitely go a half size down on these. I'm a true 12 and a half. I went with a 12, partly because I didn't have a choice. They didn't come in half sizes that high, so I could either get a 12 or a 13. A 13 would be too big no matter what, so I went a half size down to a 12 and they fit perfectly. So definitely go a half size down if you are able to on the tubular dooms is one thing that I would definitely recommend. If you guys are, you know, balling on a budget and you want to have that high-end Y3 look, the Tubular Doom is 100% the best way to go. There's also the Radials and the Novas, which are going to give sort of a Y3 slash easy vibe, except this is definitely the closest you can get while spending that $140, which is just a great price for these. The Prime Net ones are $160, I believe, so a bit more expensive. I'd say these ones are just as nice, if not nicer. Like, they could have made them the same price and I wouldn't have complained because these are nice. Lots of people don't like this elastic sock up here. And I can completely understand why. It's just out there and it's a really wild looking design. It's it's not something you see every day on a pair of sneakers. This is definitely more of a trendy type design, more of a uh, you know 2016 Yeezy Season 3 slash Y3 type 
sneaker like this is not your typical Adidas. This is probably going to be terribly out of style in five years, but who cares? It's an all pink sneaker. It was never in style. I love these things. Like you guys know how long I've wanted an all pink pair of sneakers. I finally got them. So many things to love about these, especially how they look on feet. I think you guys are going to be really pleased with them, how they look on feet. One more thing before I let you go, I would really recommend if you get any pair of tubular dooms with suede on them, just because the suede is so nice, definitely protect them with a spray. You can get them at, you know, go to Steve Madden, go to any sort of shoe store in your mall. You don't need to get like the fancy ones, like the Crep Protect and all that stuff. You can just go to any store, buy some suede protector, spray it on, keep these things looking nice. I'm going to be wearing these so much. You guys have no idea. Get ready to see these in all of my weekly sneaker rotations. Sorry if you hate them. I apologize in advance, but these things are amazing. Anyway, enough of me talking. You guys want to see what these look like on feet. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.